is, he's usually right. You see, he predicted the collapse of GM, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and America's biggest mall owner, General Growth Properties. In fact, Barron's called his work a dire prophecy. Recently, he created a video, which you can watch online for free, detailing his biggest and most important prediction yet, and it's a real eye-opener. I can't stress this enough. You should at least watch this free video online today. He explains everything you need to know, including simple steps you can take to protect yourself. You can find the video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica, the number three, dot com. Watch the free video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica3.com. Hi, this is Steve Shank and Babs Rosberg with eFoods Direct. Babs, you work a lot with shipping and things are going absolutely nuts with this new Independence Month Patriot Pack that eFoods is giving away. The way things are going, we're shipping thousands of these great little Patriot Packs out. Just an example, Sherry from Arkansas made a $1,300 order. We shipped her five free Patriot Packs, $750 more free food. Folks are really surprised at what we're actually giving away. Now, folks, we've had 235 years of freedom in this country. So for every $235 worth of food ordered, we give away a $149 Patriot Pack free. To order the best food on the planet, call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. A free 12-day supply Patriot Pack with every $235 worth of food ordered. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath the Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at InfoWars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Okay, we're going back to Dr. Steve Pachinik with some very uh, insightful information. I have studied the sociology the anthropology of Scandinavia. My wife has lived there. They're all about being individuals. And that's why it's one of the few places socialism quasi works because they individually agree on a collective of socialism, uh, but the individual is above all else. And Pachinik, who's a psychiatrist, Boyd, board certified examining psychiatrist, wrote psychological warfare manuals for the U.S. government. He's gone over all this. We're going back to him in just a moment. Uh, before I go any further, this is one of the most popular items we've ever offered. You need to remember this radio show is listener supported. And so your purchase of books, videos, DVDs, T-shirts, they not only get the word out when you show friends the videos or make copies of them or wear an Infowars.com T-shirt or pass out a citizen rule book, you also fund our operation, and we got these made in America. The filtration system is made in America. Uh, the the uh, stainless steel outside is Chicom, but the point is we couldn't find one totally made in America. It's bisphenol A free. Uh, it does uh, over 100 gallons, uh, and it removes 99.9% .9 of basically everything. Uh, nothing removes 100%, but it reduces everything. Uh, it's the Aqua Vessel, Infowars.com, uh, emblazoned there. And uh, these are almost sold out. And we just put another order in. There'll be some more in next week. But if you want to get these, they're available at Infowars.com. Uh, or you can trust the government and, and drink the toxic tap water that they uh, shovel at us. And, of course, we're also adding, starting September 1st, the weekly uh, nightly radio show, um, that's already simulcast via television. Uh, we're going to add a 30-minute news show uh, that comes on at 7 o'clock Central every evening, stream live uh, out to everybody. 
Uh, and we're also going to be adding uh, other special live reports and events at PrisonPlanet.tv. So uh, if you support what we're doing, sign up at PrisonPlanet.tv today. Okay, let me stop right there. My issue is that governments have been caught staging terror attacks over and over and over again. Private corporations do it. Hitler did it with the Reichstag and Gleiwitz to start World War II. Uh, at Gleiwitz, he used Reichstag to seize more power uh, in February of uh, 1933. Uh, we've seen army manuals on how to stage false flags. We've seen countless examples of this. So that's why out of the gates, I always look at things and ask who benefits. And I saw this huge buildup that... Okay, we're not going to brand terrorism as Muslim anymore. We're going to move it over to conservatives who don't want a new world order. Now, this guy reportedly attacks, uh, reportedly confesses today, but we're not allowed to see that on camera. His Facebook gets altered. The police knew who he was when they got there to the island. But then on the other side, he picks an island for the idea of psychological isolation and the fear of being shot while you're swimming on vacation and the children of the socialist elite and the multiculturalist, uh, you know, sellouts, as he calls them, uh, being killed. Uh, if he would have targeted the Muslims, it would have made them uh, the victims. Instead, he went after the true ruling class that he saw as perpetrating it. I see the precision. I see the clear eyed way he did this. I understand that the uh, People in Scandinavia are are normally the folks that, you know, climb Mount Everest and are into all of this, you know, extreme long distance uh, sports. I understand the psychology. And he wanted to sell the idea that the individual lone wolf can bring you down anytime we want. That's why 90% of warfare is psychological. The system creates the idea you're powerless. They build giant capital buildings to make you feel like you're little because it's the opposite. And I agree, his message of you are the individual, you are unstoppable, is the polar opposite of what neocons and liberals and collectivists push. The only way they would trigger this is to create, and they did this with al-Qaeda, the idea of the individual, the army of one uh, that the U.S. military talks about to to sell the idea of a clash in Europe with the Muslims. And uh, some would say that points towards Israel. So, Dr. Pachinik, you've got the floor, and then I want to go to calls. We'll keep you some of the next hour to get more into the info, but I promise to go to calls during this hour. But I understand where you're going with all of this, and I know you've read over his material, show of eyes. So, so uh, break down... Uh, exactly where you're going with this. And then the $64 million question, clearly he's saying he didn't work alone. Other cells are about to strike. And uh, boy, what a favor he's giving the establishment because they're not going to be able to stop these cells, whether they're behind him or not. They're sure going to be able to demonize Alex Jones and Ron Paul. I don't think they're going to demonize Alex Jones or Ron Paul or even me or anybody else. What this is about is not even relevant about you and me or anybody who says they state that they're the extreme right. The state at this point is totally impotent. It has nothing to do with this act of terror. This act of terror is bred, as I said to you and you said, out of their own influence of culture and a man who has been systematically working out on the philosophy, methodology, not alone, but as it was said in 2002, he met with a group of others in England. I suspect that British intelligence knows a lot about this and will assist the Norwegians. But more importantly, what this is about is to literally say what he said, which is to polarize the system. It, in short, let me call this a virtual putsch, a P-U-T-F-C-H, which is what Hitler did in the 1923s by creating a, a situation where he could create agitation, kill his own people, eventually the long knife, and this is a virtual push. He says very clearly, this general, this man here, he says, Berwick says, there are situations in which cruelty is necessary and refusing to apply necessary cruelty is a betrayal of the people whom you wish to protect. No government will go out and allow an individual to kill 80 children. That is counterproductive to terrorism and allying sympathy in order to have a group other than the fact that you have an individual who's saying, look, I'm above all the laws, above all 
all government systems and above all ideology, and he spells it out. There's no neocon, there's no individual in our government who can sophisticatedly put this all together. You overestimate, and many of the people who listen to you overestimate the effectiveness of a government, any government, to effect, effectuate any counter-terrorist movement or even a terrorist movement. The false flag and stand down in 9-11 was done in preparation over a period of time by two guys who were very clear about it. That was Bush Jr., Rumsfeld, and the neocons. I knew about that a long while before, and I was against it. This is very different. This has been in preparation for a long while, and my suspicion goes to Sweden, because in Sweden, where I wrote about this book 20 years ago, in Active Measures, under the name Alexander Court, I pinpointed the rise of the neo-Nazis and the Aryan supremacy, which, by the way, the Swedes are not Aryan, and the use against uh, the Christian religion, which they're not Christian, by the way, it's Lutheranism subsumed underneath a nation state to attack Muslims so they could stop the immigration of Muslims going through. This was not an attempt to polarize the system into allowing the state to suppress the individuals. That's the act of terrorism. This is not what he's saying. He doesn't want the state to suppress the individual. He wants to say that he and other individuals will suppress the state and that in this world of the 21st century technology where he can use a semi-automatic weapon and kill 80 kids in 90 minutes and be able to blow up a building with AMFO, he can be more effective than 100,000 people. And he's absolutely right. He proved it. I think it's a big mistake to compare this to Al-Qaeda, McVeigh, or anything else. This is what we say in the business, sui generis. I've been waiting for this type of pristine terrorism, and it sounds cynical, to work with it and say, how do we stop it? Because his attempt is to basically create an army, a virtual army of individual terrorists under the rubric of Christian, which he mistakenly calls Catholic because the Knights Templar were Catholic, and they were also of many other uh, uh, disreputable elements. And he's saying to those others, I want you to arise as individuals, not in the group. This is a very different message. This is what I call the 21st century neo-Nazi movement, but it really mirrors much more Hitler's rise to power. Well, let me this ask you, you say you've gone operation. over you say you've gone over his material. Are you seeing neo-Nazi stuff because uh, there's a lot of uh, Islamophobia and he he quotes a lot of neocon Jewish writers. I mean, are you saying he's a neo-Nazi? Well, I'm saying for one of any term, he's, for me, he's a 21st century virtual terrorist. He knows exactly how to use the icons, the music, and he knows how to uh, put it all together. He knows how to quote Franz Kafka. I mean, he, he says he's inspired by Franz Kafka, the trial. Franz Kafka was a Jew. He, he doesn't care all that much about religion as much as he cares to mobilize all the elements of, an, of mixed ideology, including communism, which he's against, although he doesn't realize that he's acting very much like Stalin and Trotsky. He's a Trotskyite. Many, like many of the neocons, he's a Trotskyite, which means, in effect, he didn't understand the full understanding of what he was writing about. A Trotskyite believes in revolution, irrespective of what your religion and that. Yeah, no, that's is. their big. Well, they believe in blood. Now, now, uh, blood flowing is their is their is their little secret chant. Now, let's go back here, though, because I got an email about this and I looked it up. I hadn't heard you on coast to coast, but you just mentioned it, and I went and found the quote. But, but, but you said you knew about the 9-11 plan, or you just alluded to that, before it happened. So let's digress into that. You're saying you know who was specifically involved planning 9-11, and uh, the report was... And it's, I don't want to get into that now. You know, you and I have talked about that before. Not open, no, no, but, no, but not on this show. You said 1991. No, but did I don't you, want to get into that. No, but did you I say... I've been on your show. I predicted correctly that Osama bin Laden would be put out. I, I didn't stop it. I didn't know exactly what the plan was, but it's not a very difficult plan to figure out. If you've got Paul Wolf, who was University of Chicago trained under Wolfstetter, who writes a book on stand down and false flag of Pearl Harbor, you don't have to be a psychiatrist. If you know who uh, Elliot Abrams is, and he's at the Council on Foreign Relations, and he's been involved in all kinds of chicanery for 20 years under different administrations, it's not difficult.
involved. This Why do criminals, as a psychiatrist... Talking about. I said it 10, sure. 11 years ago. I fought my battle. I worked with those in the system who I won't identify to get rid of Rumsfeld, to get rid of the neocons. And then what happens? Your governor, Terry, goes, and who does he go to talk to? Doug Fife, the worst of the neocons, the stupidest of the neocons. 